Hello my YouTube community, it's Deacon and I'm back today to show you how to download and install Fallout 76 mods that are out. A link will be provided to this mod and the two mods I'll be downloading is Better Inventory and a Plan and Recipe Glow. So you want to go into the files, you want to download the Fallout 76 custom, I and I, and the mod itself of course. You will only need to download the custom file once for the whole mod, all the mods that you download. And in the link, you will also see a written guide. So you want to go into your documents and follow as I do and just drop the custom file in there. You will open up the custom file and you will paste a line that is provided in the, uh, the text link. And uh, if you download it from the mod, the mod will actually already have it loaded for you, so you won't have to really worry about it if all you want is one mod. How to add two mods is a little different, so I'll show you that later on in the video. Next, I'm going to go to the recipe plans and glows. And of course, just like the other one, you want to download the mod itself. And we're going to actually insert the mods into the game. You want to go to the program files and then follow as I do again open up your RAR files and just go ahead and copy and paste or drag and drop uh, the mods into your file. Be careful though, you might want to make a backup of this file just in case. And to do that is easy, just copy the file and then paste it somewhere else to back it up. In case anything happens, you can go and repaste that file and replace it. So if you want to add the second one to the load order, it's not like this, I messed up and had to go back. All you do is copy that mod and then paste it with a comma and then a space after. File save it, exit out, and then time to launch Fallout 76. Now as you can see, you have your normal queue sort that you have without the mod, and then you have another one called filter and you use control on that. So something I thought was really awesome about this mod is if you're in a hurry to eat or drink something, you can just filter to your food and water. So it's really helpful for that. And also whenever you leave the aid or whatever you're in and you go to apparel and back to aid, it'll actually reset to your normal list so you don't have to worry about scrolling to, through to the uh, default setting. So later on, you're also going to see me trying to find a plan and it was completely random. All the plans that I knew where they were were already taken. So this was actually a great demonstration because I could see it from really far away. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know if there's anything in specific that you'd like me to test or try out, and I will go ahead and make a video on it for you guys. Stay great and survive the wasteland, guys. Thanks so much.